This mask might not look like that of Big Gretch or somebody else big in the media or, or in the, you know, you know what I'm talking about. But it's a mask, proves to you I wear one. Been a minute since I've done the Sports Minute over the air. The NHL is coming back into return to play form. Did a podcast with Stormy Bonatoni from the Vegas Golden Knights. Did a podcast with Jess Blaylock from the Florida Panthers, Fox Sports Florida. Also a shout out to Katie Goss as well. So I've done some NHL stuff before and also a happy birthday to Jamie Hirsch, NHL Network. Her birthday was yesterday. Big news coming in this sports minute. Proof to you that I wear a mask. Sports coming back? Me likey. Sports Minute for today, Tuesday, May 26, 2020. In the NHL, NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman is expected to announce the league's return to play format this afternoon. That means a 2014 straight to playoffs format with the league's other seven teams having their seasons ended. The Players Association voted last week to approve the 2014 format proposed by the Return to Play Committee. It involves the top four teams in each conference playing a mini-tournament proceeding, while the other 16 face off in best-of-five series to set the field. In the NFL, Miami Dolphins owner Stephen Ross says that there definitely will be an NFL season in 2020. In an interview on CNBC, Ross says the question is whether there will be fans in the stands. The NFL has said it expects to play a full schedule beginning September 10th, but is preparing contingency plans in case the coronavirus pandemic makes venue changes or games without fans necessary. Ross says the NFL's flexibility will allow the league to start on time. He says the country needs sports entertainment. In New York sports, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy tweeted today that as long as the NFL's Giants and Jets and the NHL's Devils follow health and medical protocols, they could open training camps or even hold competition. The NFL's preseason and training camps would not begin until midsummer. Teams are doing virtual workouts in place of the usual on-field activities because of the coronavirus pandemic. In NASCAR, Kyle Busch says he supports wearing a mask in public, so quote-unquote, we can all take care of our neighbor amid the coronavirus pandemic. It's a rare instance of the two-time NASCAR champion wading into a social issue. Bush ended the debate after images from short tracks over the weekend showed packed grandstands with little social distancing and few people wearing masks. He retweeted a photo from South Alabama Speedway in Ozark, Alabama, and added his own message. Bush applauded fans for supporting their local short tracks, but suggested mandatory masks for admission for quote-unquote healthier practices. And in college sports... A Pennsylvania man has pleaded guilty to bribing Georgetown University's former tennis coach to get his daughter admitted as a fake athletic recruit. Robert Rapella pleaded guilty to one count of conspiracy to commit mail fraud and honest services mail fraud. Prosecutors are recommending a sentence of 10 months in prison and a $40,000 fine. Charging documents say Rapella paid Georgetown tennis coach Gordon Ernst $50,000 in 2017 to get his daughter admitted as an athlete. This has been your WLEW Sports Minute for today, Tuesday, May 26th, 2020. My name is Tom Green. And of course, before we go, because my parents' friends listen to these videos too, and so do my parents, oh, the joy... When I talked about the mail fraud story when I recorded the Sports Minute, yes, I thought about Newman and the hot lights and mail fraud. Have a great night, everybody. Stay safe. Wear a mask. Even if it's not stylish.